holiday season, you guys. I know you guys are going to these events, but it's a Christmas party, New Year's Eve party. Do not come empty handed. And we should bring is definitely a side dish. And mashed potatoes are always the way to go. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make some good mashed potatoes. For today's video, you only need five ingredients. One stick of butter, eight ounces of sour cream, the start of the recipe, which is your Yukongo potatoes, about two pounds. Also, salt and pepper for tasting. All right, y'all, so let's focus on potatoes right now. So in the meantime, let's set aside our sour cream and our butter, put it, put it to the side. You know, we want to get it at the room temperature so it's easier to work with. We're mashing into the potatoes, so think about it like this. We don't want cold sour cream and cold butter into the hot potatoes. So put it aside and we'll come back to that later. So let's focus right now on potatoes. Let's make sure we start by rinsing our potatoes first and foremost. So right now I'm gonna grab our equipment, our peeler, our chef knife, and our towels, and get started on these potatoes. So I'm gonna lay this out real quick. Grab one of these potatoes real quick, our peeler, and start peeling it on this towel. And you'll see why I'm doing it on the towel. So some people love keeping the skin on for the mashed potatoes and give it a more rustic style feel to their to their dish. But for me personally, I love the skin off. You know, nothing beats a nice creamy mashed potatoes. So, but do as you must, sure potatoes. <laughs> now that our potatoes are all peeled up, we're gonna move on to the next step. So let's get rid of our shavings, the skins. And the cool thing about using a towel or a paper towel like this is you can just toss it in the trash can, but for this, we just put it to the side. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our pot, our potatoes. Alright, put it to the side real quick, and we're gonna start cutting these potatoes up. So we're gonna do it in quarters. So we've got our chef knife right here, got the potato, this one right here, and go one chop right here. So I find it better to um, not cut it up, dice it up too small, because I feel it's always you absorb too much water by dicing the potato up too small. So it's better just to do nice quarters, nice chunks, so it's able to cook off quick, but not like absorb too much water. Just like that. So after chopping up your potatoes, you go add to the pot like this. And go start filling the pot up with some water. Just like that. So, now our pot potatoes is fully submerged into water. Make sure there's a key step right now. Salt. Always salt your water, y'all. Always. Potatoes are now salted. Now we're gonna take it to the stove top and get it cooking. Now we're going to turn the heat for this bad boy all the way up and get it boiling. So now that our potatoes are on the stove cooking right now, we're going to grab our butter right here and start dicing it up. So for this recipe, you only need one stick of butter. So if you want to add extra butter to add some more richness to your potatoes, you're more than welcome to. But one stick is all you need. Start chopping it up. Got one of this, just put it in there. Looks all nice and soft right now. Just put it into the container and set it aside. So now we got our butter nice and diced up. We can set it to the side and come back to that in a little bit. And also too, a good note that if you don't want these butter, the other options. So for me personally, when I cook my, my NFL clients, my NBA clients, I try to use, you know, nice earth balance. It's another option there, it's like vegan option for butter so definitely keep that in mind if you're someone who want you on the healthier side there's this um olive oil too you can use that as well and yeah just kind of play around with that so right now let's check on our potato oil in now let's see if it's soft in the middle so we use right now is my kick tester that i like to use to test out the doneness of certain items so let's check out the potatoes that's easy look at that i think we're good y'all all right. So before we get our potatoes from the stovetop, we're gonna grab our ricer, which is this bad boy right here. Yeah. 
and we're gonna take it to the sink and this will help straight out our water and we're gonna do the potatoes in the pot and with this, so. Take out the stove top. So right now we have our potatoes right here. And right now we're gonna dump the water and the potatoes into the ricer and just drain out all the water like so. If you don't have a ricer at home, um, you can also always use your colander like we used earlier today. All right, so we got hot. All right, so we have our hot potatoes right now. We're gonna start adding our butter into this bad boy. And start mixing this up. If you don't have a ricer at home, you can always use a, a masher. And if you don't have a masher at home, you can always use a, a whisk, a standing mixture, um, a hand blender, hand mixture. That always works as well. So start mixing these bad boys up. I like mixing it while adding butter to it. And it's nice to have a spatula as well while mixing this. It makes it easier. Adding more butter to this. Yeah. Just keep mixing it up. All right, so make sure we get all the stuff at the bottom real quick. Got all that good stuff. Inside too as well. So right now we've got our sour cream and I fold into the potatoes. So let's put our cutting board away. Don't need it right now. Bring it a little closer. Right here and add it into potatoes. So you only need eight ounces of this. So about half of a container, of a 16 ounce container, obviously, so. I'm just gonna fold it in. Let's see what I show you guys. So you notice how potatoes are getting paler. You know right now it's definitely getting creamier and more wet. Let's show you guys how it looks right now. Look at that. So right now we're going to add our salt and pepper. A little salt real quick. It's pepper. You salt lightly as you go because earlier you salted your water so you don't want to over salt your potatoes. The last thing you ever want is salty mashed potatoes. Trust me, I've been there before. It's not fun. And if you're ever in a predicament, I will tell you, homie, you're on your own on that one. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you salt lightly, taste as you go, and, you know, adjust the flavor as you kind of go along. But, yeah. All right, y'all, so now our potatoes are fully mashed. We added our butter, we added our sour cream. Next, we, we salt seasoned it with salt and pepper. And then we got a little extra little flavor. So we have some herbs, some truffle oil, maybe some more butter. So check it out here. We have our thyme, our rosemary, and our parsley. I chop it up real quick and add it to the potatoes. All right, so after we finish chopping up our herbs right here, we're going to add some of it to our potatoes. Just like that. And then we're going to mix it up. Right here. And we're just going to add it into our bowl like, like so. Yeah. Some more herbs. So after we add our herbs, now we're gonna add our truffle oil. I got the bad boy in Italy earlier this year, so definitely wanna bring this out today. So get a little tap on that and let's get a little. Let's clean the plate off real quickly. And we should be good to go. And there you have it.
And that's it, y'all. It's just a very simple dish to do. Mashed potatoes, y'all. You can't F it up, you know. It's cream, potatoes, butter. You know, if you don't want to use butter, you can use vegan butter. If you don't want to use sour cream, you can use heavy cream. You can use buttermilk. You can use creme fraiche. There's all sorts of type of options you can do, you know. So you can't really mess it up. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Chef Arnold underscore the real MVP. And also check out my website at mealsforvictory.com. If this video has helped you out today, press that like, smash the subscribe, and follow this channel. Have a flavorful day, y'all. Take it easy and peace.